Hi, it's been a while. <laughs> I love this jacket. It's just my favorite thing in the world right now. Okay, fly, fly. <sighs> Welcome back to the lab. Um, this is a really special time for me right now. And the fact that this episode was named Clarity even before um, I made some friends in some cool places uh, it's just it's just so weird that this episode was already written out in my Evernote in my Evernote some time ago about clarity before I started to publish a lot of this get in the lab live stuff um, and that's why you haven't seen an episode out of the lab the actual episodes out of the lab uh, is because I've been pushing a lot of content and um, the reason for that is because I'm I'm marketing you know I'm marketing my event but it doesn't stop the fact. Um, that I want to put out this type of content just for me. This is mine, mine alone, okay? Uh, the lab is where I come to not vent, but reflect consciously about who I am as an entrepreneur, as a wife, um, as a human being. And I try to create something for you guys that is enjoyable to watch and offers you something, uh, inspires you in some way, okay? So welcome back to the lab. It's been a minute since we've been in here. I'm sorry for that, but not sorry because have I ever left you without content? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I think that's one of my strengths is pushing content, um, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. But um, like I said, yeah, this episode is titled Clarity and for a very double cool reason, which is um, I am now working with Clarity uh, in sort of a team effort sort of deal um, because they are sponsoring me to go to podcast movement. And so usually how I fundraise and raise money and uh, to go out to podcast movement or any event for that matter is very expensive. If you've ever been to an event, um, mine is not expensive by the way. <laughs> well, I mean the ticket. Um, any event is usually a, quite an investment it's, and it's because um, there, there are so many changes that are going to happen to you personally and professionally um, and the hosts usually understand that and so it's usually an investment. I think it's always worth it to go to a, a big event where your life can be quite literally changed in a couple of days. Um, and so I was having a conversation with a gentleman named Jonathan Colbert and uh, we got to talking, he had me on his show, you guys may have seen it, I was on an a, a internet radio show called What Is Your Holistic Lifestyle and for some reason we were talking about podcasting. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to our guest here today and I had the pleasure of meeting this beautiful lady yesterday and her name is so cool, it sounds like it should be like a designer, it's Ireland with Prince and Madonna, it's <laughs> Meg Levu. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Hey. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but that was a very cool experience for me. It's about an hour long show. You can check it out in the show notes um, of this in the, in the description. And um, we got to talking even more. And without even asking, um, this person, Jonathan, and the company that he's affiliated with, Clarity, just they wanted to invest in me. <laughs> they wanted to invest in me. Say hi to my blog. This is Jonathan, by the way. This is my blog, Behind the Hustle, so. Behind the Hustle, let me tell you one thing. Go out, yeah. We're gonna share some hustle today. We're gonna learn a few <laughs> things. That's what we're gonna do here today. And this is not the first time that somebody has invested in my potential. And I hear um, two things about potential. One is it's a good thing. It's good to have potential. Woohoo, potential. You're potentially great. <laughs> But when you think about it and when you break this word down and you listen to um, people do, do, that do not bullshit you on potential um, and they are quite literally blunt, um, they say, okay, fine, you have potential. What have you done? What have you done? And uh, <laughs> so now I'm, I'm in this position where um, people are investing in my potential and it's totally changed the way that I look at the world and the way that I... way that I just even uh, wake up to life now because it's not about potential because that's like saying I have I have a, 
an, an idea that can change the world or can make a lot of money. And I go, okay, <laughs> where is it? What have you done with it? Where is your proof? Like, where are your tests? Where is your minimum, minimum viable product? You know, it frustrates me so much because my husband is such an idea person. And then when I berate him with all of my test it, test it, or you know, whatever, and, and then he shies away from it, it just goes to show that you, you cannot be all talk. You cannot be all potential. It means nothing. It means nothing. If you don't um, return on investment, if you don't ROI these investors, it's nothing. It was a waste of time. So I'm starting to wake up, maybe a little late, better late than never, right? A little late that people have invested in me, Clarity being one of them, um, but I can't celebrate yet. I mean, that's great. It's a great, cool thing, but I cannot celebrate and I cannot have too much pride and too much arrogance caught up in the fact that, oh, I got a sponsor. I think a lot of people reach for the sponsor, but they're not reaching for the real measurable results and being very focused on the measurable results. Like what have you, what have you brought to the table after I've invested in you? Um, it's very groundbreaking to find that piece of clarity in myself because I used to have this dream and I tell this to, I've told this to my mom and I told this to Kevin, I think where I would have this dream where I was always climbing up these stairs, very steep stairs. Like who built these stairs? Okay. I'm climbing up these stairs and I'm trying to reach something and then I fall. I've had this dream many times. Okay, I'm gonna just let that marinate. Another dream, I'm in a fight. <laughs> I'm in a fight and because I'm, you know, I play a lot of video games, I actually dream about a lot of video game-like dreams where I'm like in a level and stuff. So a lot of times I'll be in, I'll be fighting, right? And I'm gonna, I try so hard. I feel it in my bones, like in my spirit, in the dream, like this is it, man. This is it and I cock back and then I plunge forward and I get ready, I set my feet, I got the right form and everything and I swing or I jab or whatever, you know, I reverse, doesn't land it. It feels like pillows, it feels like air, air ball. It feels like that. And I used to get this all the time. And I freaking already knew, I didn't have to Google that. I was like, I'm reaching, I have potential, but I'm not landing. I'm not landing the punch. I'm not scoring the goal. And this used to happen a lot in sports. I was MVP in a lot of sports. I was, I was very athletic. Um, I could do something with the ball. Uh, I had a lot of eyeballs on me. And yet I never really reached the top, never won a championship, never, uh, never really won, like never really got to the top, right? And so looking back at my childhood years, my dreams, this potential that I have, which a lot of people tell me you have great potential, which is, thank you for saying that. But now I'm understanding like potential is nothing. And why am I thinking, why am I satisfied and maybe even lying to myself that that's okay like what is it that is getting in the way of me reaching my summit right the only real summit that i've ever reached was in rock climbing <laughs> that's why i love it so much it's like oh my god that was real i did that shit um and then i was seeing that you know in in my business i was like I make good content, like it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Book's pretty good, right? Um, I'm true to myself, right? And I think that's pretty good. Um, but the sales are not there. The sales are not there. Uh, people are knocking at my door, but they're not leaving with, um, they're not leaving with having purchased something. Um, 
the sales are there, but they're not where they should be for all of this stuff that you see on the outside, the inside, right? That's not where I want to be. Um, it's not enough to um, truly support my family in the long run. I don't see that yet. I see streams of revenue coming and you go, cool, that's great. That's a start. And then it's crickets and then streams of revenue coming and then it's crickets. So there's a broken link in that chain. And that's why I want to make this, this, um, this video is because now, right now, now it feels like, ah, that's what was missing. Ooh, <laughs> holy crap. That's what was missing. I figured out what was missing and it was so weird to wake up to it. And you know, I always say this to people, it, it takes the time that it needs to take for you to wake up to whatever, you know, uh, whatever action that you need to take in your life and you need to suffer a little bit. Um, and I use that word because that's a very strong word and that's, I think it's a very real thing for people and it was for me. Um, and I don't forget this word suffer because that's what it is. It's suffering when you are just missing it all the time. You're missing the shot. You're missing, you're, you're not landing the punch. You're, you're reaching the top and you fall. Like, um, that's a very real, uh, that's a very true reality for me. And uh, it transferred into everything that I did and it was just slowly kind of keeping me from rising so for those of you there everybody has potential everybody has potential but that's don't get too excited about that <laughs> I don't mean to be a downer but like you are not done you are not done okay you need to wake up and be like great people are saying I have potential that like that's a good thing for my brand right like i could go somewhere but it's really up to you to strategize how you're going to make that goal happen there has to be some sort of strategy in there i hear from a mentor of mine ty lopez and he says there's a, diff a big difference between planning and strategizing okay and my mentor who's been telling me this forever for almost a year now he's like i do high level strategy and I was like whatever dude you just do your you just do your thing and you you know we'll have a phone conversation and I'm gonna be scared of you and uh, we'll just we'll, we'll go from there <laughs> so um, you have to have a strategy and you have to wake up to how you're gonna get there right reverse engineering the goal and that used to scare me so much because it's like I really really have to like go for it and um, I think I hear this story a lot and you guys probably hear it too it's like denying yourself clarity because of fear which is very natural um, but yeah it's just it's so crazy to finally wake up find the clarity and be like all right <laughs> And it's not a plan, it's a strategy, right? It's like, if this, then that. Don't freak out, okay? Because in a plan, you freak out because you only see that one thing in front of you, which I think it's very optimistic to go one foot in front of the other, do, 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 do. And like you do that, which I did forever, which is like, keep making videos, do, 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 do. but not having a strategy of what I wanna do with these videos. How am I gonna make money? Like, how am I going to support my family with no children, <laughs> but still, right? Like I want to buy some, uh, I want to live a certain lifestyle. Like how am I going to support that? Right. Having the balls to like, okay, here's my goal. Like, how am I going to make it happen? Like be really blunt with yourself and be like relentless. Oh yeah. I got potential. Oh yeah. I know how to work a video camera. Oh yeah. I know how to shoot B roll. Like, get over it. That's just a tiny part of the puzzle where it's like, okay, what's the strategy? How am I going to do it? If this, if somebody doesn't watch this, what happens if they don't watch it? 
right? If somebody buys my product, then what happens after that? If somebody doesn't buy my product, what happens after that, right? So creating this strategy where you, you eliminate, you undercut, overwhelm, and stress because you have this strategy, right? I just woke up to this. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and then I was like, teach me senpai, you know? And now, and now I feel like, again, being reborn again into learning um, and accepting new change once again. I was always open to change, but there's always a part of you that resists change because you're just not ready for it. Um, like I said, it takes the time that it needs to take for some people to get out of their funk, whatever, and change their habits. And I was just having conversation with my sister and it was like, some people, even though you love them to death, they're toxic for you because they're in this loop of like shit, you know? And it sucks for them, but you cannot associate with that. If you wanna rise to the top, you need to surround yourself with people who are rising to the top. Done, right? That's clarity. I think it's really interesting, like at this part in, in my life, when I'm gonna be 30 this year, <laughs> and my, my like, uh, in, the, in, the, in the air kind of goal was like, have my shit together, have my shit together. Like that was my goal, I didn't know what that meant. But um, I find that <laughs> clarity is a part of that, is very much a part of that. And clarity will, will come in new forms all the time, I think, you know, it's always like an action of letting go and then something coming in because you've let go and you've, maybe you've let go of this old idea of yourself, you've let that thing die and this new idea of yourself comes in. That's happening all the time. But you have to allow that exchange to happen, right? However long that takes for you, um, the more often that it happens where you're like, oh my God, I need to change, and then you let go of certain things in your life and now this new change can come in, that's gonna happen all the time. When you start doing that more and more, you're gonna recognize that pattern in yourself. It usually feels like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a breakdown. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm stressing the fuck out right now. It usually feels like that. Um, or I'm, gonna, I'm going through a breakup, right? Or I'm breaking up with somebody or somebody's breaking up with me. It usually feels like that. It feels like complete shit. It feels like you're dying, which you are in a way, when something drastic like that is happening or you're in a shit job or whatever. Like you need to let that thing die so that this new thing can come in and take its place, okay? That is clarity, my friend, all right? That is very much clarity. So. I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> this episode, this rant back on Clarity. Um, once again, thank you so much to Clarity um, for giving me the opportunity at, at what seems so random um, with working with you. And um, thank you so much for believing in my potential and I promise to be a, a positive <laughs> ROI and return more that you have invested in me um, because I'm just, I'm just so grateful to be in this position. And um, for those of you watching out there and you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you, um, you know, uh, enjoy this. I do these episodes every so now and again. I, I'd love to do them more on request because I'm just pushing out so much content and I don't like creating content that isn't asked for because then it's a waste of my time. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, I will ask for certain types of content which you will see here, which is like, this is me. This is clarity. This is me coming on and, and, uh, and uh, self-reflecting and giving you guys maybe some inspiration and some action to do in your own lives and business. And on that note, um, I'm doing a free training um, about clarity, actually. Uh, about clarity, we go into a lot of depth, a lot of real life examples on how to find clarity in your business. If you would like to be a part of this free training, um, click that link in the description. And um, yeah, we will, I'll see you in there, okay? So um, it's very cool because it's live and you can ask me questions and we can really get to the bottom to the clear point, to the clarity uh, of your 
product, business, or service. Okay, so good things, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. That was super fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the new lab that I built, DIY. Um, I was late to that party, I know. I'm very late to things, but at least I make it. You can't blame me because I'm Filipino, okay? Okay. <laughs> Once again, my name is Meg, reminding you to get in the lab. We'll see ya. That's right, that's right. Do I get to try this right now? You try it right now. I pour it in here? Pour it in there. Okay. It's already shaking up. It's already shaking up. Cool. Look at that, this, guys. Clarity. That Look product out for them. there. It's called Calibrate. That is a science of nutrigenomics and epigenetics. Ooh, Upregulates okay. the genes. Fancy. Ooh, that's good. We like Dang, that. Dang, that takes me back to fourth grade right now. <laughs> I'm having a flashback to my fourth grade real quick. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's believe it, we 30 this year. <laughs> and a good looking 30 at that, ladies mm. and gentlemen. That's that Asian jeans. I can finish this? Or Asian, don't sure? crack, go ahead, it's okay, all you. Cool. I like it. You make a martini with that too. Oh, Let's snap. edit that. Let <laughs> <laughs> me just like take away all the effects, all the good effects. Yeah, if you ever hung over and you take this, uh, it really helps you That's come you back normally. Me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need this uh, Sunday. Let me put it to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday we're having game night.